Hi everybody, welcome to this unboxing of the Dell Optiplex 3010. Got it for 88 bucks on eBay. Comes with Windows 10 Pro, so in my opinion that's already a pretty good deal to me so that I can uh, use a couple Windows 10 Pro stuff. So for 88 bucks, this thing is pretty sweet. The Dell Optiplexes, they were built for offices or you know in, in the library and they're pretty easy to open and add things to them. So that, that's what makes this such a great PC. And you know, Dell has great support. Packaging came in nice. And it looks like they set up an account. Password is password, so. I'll probably wipe that and then uh, we'll take a look, we'll run some benchmark tests, see where we're at, and then we can gradually upgrade this thing, make more videos about it. I did order a few other Dell Optiplex models on the way, a 790, we got a 3010, the, um, the mini tower case. This computer right here is a DT, a desktop one. I'll put a link in the description below, but um, Dell has a guide where you can look at the computer visually and then you know if it's a small form factor or if it's a DT or if it's a mini tower. So this is a DT, a desktop chassis. So it doesn't come with a power cord or anything. No keyboard, no mouse, keep that in mind. So for 88 bucks, it's pretty bare bones, um, but it's definitely supposed to be a working computer. So it looks really clean in there. We got a 500 gigabyte Western Digital. It looks like it used to belong to Lionel. And then we got a couple sticks of RAM, four gigs a piece, so eight gigs total. And then power supply is at 250 watts. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade the RAM to 16 gigs. So it's an Intel Core i5. Um, and then it's got a DVD optical drive, which is pretty cool. And then there's a little bit of a gap on the case, but that's not a big deal. To me, that's just going to improve the airflow, I guess. <laughs> Let's try a boot time. Uh, one thing that surprised me when I was making this video was the boot time. Uh, when I, I got used to SSDs, so boot time is like, you know, 15 seconds or less, usually. And this thing came in at around 25 seconds. So pretty impressive, in my opinion. Uh, especially, you know, for a computer of this age. So it's probably going to be faster when I put in an SSD. Let's run our user benchmark test. I'm thinking of just putting in a 120 gig uh, SSD in the future because I probably won't save too many files on this. I'll probably try to get a cheap graphics card experiment. So it looks like graphics, boot drive, and PC status are red. 12% for gaming, 49% desktop, and 33% workstation. Definitely a lot of room for improvement. So for the hard drive, we are running the Crystal Disk Mark 7 test. And the scores are pretty low. Um, I don't, I, I didn't really notice it, so it looks like it's about 25 gigs full. So yeah, 120 gigabyte hard drive will definitely do for this uh, system. It'll be good practice, see if we can upgrade the RAM. Update a graphics card. So let's run a Cinebench test. Let me fast forward. Yeah, I've never actually upgraded a graphics card before, so it's gonna be a good it's gonna be good practice. I'll definitely mention it in, in, in uh, future videos. So score overall is a a thousand and two points. So it has a GFX board of Intel HE Graphics twenty five hundred. So there's four cores at 3.2 gigahertz for this computer. So of course we can't forget our Geekbench 5 Pro test. We're gonna run our CPU benchmark and our um, OpenCL. Or should I say our compute test. Let me fast forward. So single core is 767 and at 2625. So that was the CPU benchmark test. Now we are running the compute benchmark. We have a OpenCL score of 408. So I'm saving this information. We are gonna compare it once we do our upgrades. Once I swap it out to an SSD, we're gonna find out uh, how much it has improved. And it should be interesting. 
And then I wanted to run this because I know people will ask what games can I run. Pretty much nothing really. Um, you could probably get away with you know trying to run Fortnite or something. But it'll be super laggy, it'll be super bad. So I clicked uh, what games you I can't run. And it looks like LOL, can't even run it. I'm sure you can run it. Um, I guess the graphics card was a fail. So RAM is, everything else seems to pass. That graphics card seems to be the big deal. So I did order a graphics card on the way. It was about 50 bucks. So um, two gigabyte uh, graphics card. We'll see how it is. I wanted to start off, you know, at a low end price range because I'm not that um, experienced and I might break the computer. So, well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, everybody. More videos to come. Have a good day.